once again, Mike and Rich here with you on the Sonics 413. Richie, what are you doing there? Winding up, uh, this is a moth. Oh. I forgot what year. Flying Ace is moth. It's real old. <laughs> well, it's an old design and it's an old model. You built that one a long time ago. I think there's a, a yeah. video of you flying that thing up at the old landfill. I got a couple of them. They, for one loop of rubber, it's probably one of the best flying stick and tissue jobs. It's just the right size for one loop of rubber. Yeah, that thing is mighty light. Boy, I was surprised when I picked it up. That it, weighs nothing. It might even go with one of your little electric motors. Yeah, it'd be interesting to try sometime. I got some uh, little bit bigger motors coming all the way on the slow boat from China, man. We'll, we'll try those out when they come in. Maybe we'll stick one in there. I've got a couple of rubber jobs I'd like to electrify, too. Yeah. Well, don't go too crazy with that, man. That brook okay. is awful close. Okay. Oh boy. Boy, is that nice and smooth. Now I don't know what it's doing. A little dip and stall. I never used to do that. <laughs> Not bad. Alright. Tell you what, man, leave leave that one out there for a minute. I gotta show you something here. Come here. I got oh, look at that. Yeah, baby. It's a new one. Wow. Well, you saw last time the little mini Dakota. And, and this time, uh, you know what design that is, don't you? That's a Ranger, Carl Goldberg design. Carl Goldberg, yeah. Wow, what and a beaut. Do you remember the last time we flew a Ranger? Uh, I had one. Yeah. My father built it. Yeah. It was a Ranger 30. It was all sheet balsa. O20. O20 powered. And where'd we end up last time we flew that plane? Oh, in the woods, look, in, in a cow pasture. Up in a tree. Getting chased by bulls. Get, yes, we were big up in the black ones. Big black bulls. <laughs> we were up in the tree for about two hours, trapped up there, man. And and remember, we spotted the the Ranger 30 from while we were trapped up in the tree. We saw the airplane in another tree. I did. I climbed up a lookout tree that was higher than anyone around. Yeah. And I found my other my plane in another tree. <laughs> I, I was looking down at it. All right. Well, here's. Let's try this one out, shall we? Sure. Oh, no switch on this one. No, let it run up a little bit, I'll tell you when. And you gotta launch this one a little faster than the Dakota. Left handed too. Yeah, try it. Try it. There it goes. Oh, it's flying straight, huh? Nice, nice, nice. And a landing. Beautiful. I'll go chase it down. Hold on. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's put the Dakota up once, too. While we're here, I'll, I'll go chase two at once. Okay. Yeah, a lot of a lot of guys commented on the little Dakota. Uh, some some guys thought it was a kit, but no. This this is uh, scratch built from three millimeter cell foam from the hobby store, and the blueprints. Well, I I. Got the blueprints from uh, outerzone.co.uk. It's a website that has thousands of old blueprints, and you you download it, put it on the screen, the right size. Oh, look at that go! Yeah, you put the the drawing on the screen, the right size, and just trace over it with a pencil and tracing paper. Look at this. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, let's chase them down. Here we go, Richie. Yeah, baby. Oh, I put too much rudder in it. Let's try that again. Here we go. Not bad, huh? 
come back to the old three steps away. Yeah, I just traced them with tracing paper. Got the right outline though. Oh yeah, it's scale. It's scale. It looks like it, that big stabilizer. Yeah. And you know what else, when I was tracing it out, it, it's got the exact stabilizer and rudder as my old uh, Junior Falcon RC. Yeah. yeah, when I traced that out and put it together, it was like a deja vu. It was like I'm looking at my old single channel RC. All right, here goes the Dakota, Richie. Nice. Yeah, I think my charging batteries are getting low. It's not a full charge. Oh, I should have brought those batteries I had. You should have took them ones I gave you. I know. Let's try one more with this. Isn't that cute? You guys like the... Uh, Carl Goldberg logo on the tail here. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Going for it. Here goes Rich. I was thinking, out of the same ser kit series that the Ranger 30 came out of, there was a all-sheet balsa rubber-powered Cessna 180, and that was actually the first balsa wood kit that I ever built. Yeah. So this one I'm building in memory of Carl Goldberg, and did you know that I met Carl at the uh, 1985 Nats? I did not know that. Yeah, I met him. I was I was selling some old kits and some old magazines in the uh, uh, what do you call swap shop there, swap and sell table, and uh, Carl stopped by, and I had a stack of old magazines, model airplane news and whatnot, and he picked up one copy. He says, "Oh, I'm in this one," and he flipped through, found a picture of him and his model. So he was a nice guy. I uh, talked to him for a few minutes there. He was with like three, four other guys. They were talking about some old obscure free flight design and they were trying to decide who designed it or something and it just happened that I had just read about it. So I came up with the name and they were all so surprised that a young guy would know that. But yeah, Carl stayed and talked to me for about five minutes. Good guy. Well, good flights today. Not too bad at all. I thought this one was going to go a lot uh higher performance, higher flight, but eh, it flew nice, flew nice. What they need to do is come up with some capacitors with about another half a volt would be awesome. Well, that's it. Got to go. We're about out of time here on the video. Thanks for coming to the flying field with us. Join us again on the Sonex 413 channel. If you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button down there. If you didn't like it, well, keep your mouth shut. Don't tell anybody. See ya.